um, 2002, there was a terrible uh, Islamic terror attack here where gunmen walked in and shot dead two people by the Israeli uh, El Al terminal. So it's kind of personal for me being a survivor of uh, Islamic terrorism and to stand in a place where, you know, the sanctity of death really. And I am on my way on a plane, so I can't delay too long, but I do want to say, I want to just use every single opportunity I can. And so therefore, Scott, it was great to bump into you. But as a survivor, of Palestinian terrorism in which an American Christian was murdered because they thought she was Jewish, Christine Lucan, all right? I just want to tell your viewers, the great American public, that your taxpayers' monies are funding my would-be Palestinian murderers, okay, with a monthly execution stipend, and this has to stop. How, how does that money get to the Palestinian Authority? I don't know. But, I mean, there's foreign aid, okay, and I'm not quite sure how it's monitored or not monitored, but it's given to the Palestinian Authority, and they see it right and fit to reward uh, cold-blooded murders with uh, execution stipends. And it's outrageous. So, uh, you know, I'll be speaking about this until this business actually stops. But I have to get on a plane, so I'm on my way. By the way, uh, I'm going back to Israel now. And I'm going to be part of a wonderful conference from an organization called Imtirtsu, which in Hebrew means, if you will it, it's no dream what Herzl said. And there we're having a conference with uh, Israelis, Jewish, Arab, Muslim, Christian, Druze. So I, I kind of like that because my message is one of justice and one of peace as well. 